All right, hey guys, and welcome back to another holiday painting video. Today I'm using watercolor paper and gouache paint. Um, this one is going to be a bit more complex and take a bit more time. If you're looking for something a little bit different, then please keep watching. Um, I am starting off by painting a pine cone. So I actually have one in front of me for reference, which I'll show you in a little bit. But I'm just taking a lighter brown as the base. Uh, form of my pine cone and just kind of creating these lines, deciding where the middle of the pine cone is, and then spreading them out in different directions. And I like gouache because you can have lighter sections and darker sections. Here's the pine cone <laughs> that's in front of me. I recommend getting a pine cone because it's kind of hard to remember, like, oh, what does a pine cone look like unless you have one in front of you? So anyways, I am using uh, this brown color and just creating the shape that I want. And I'm going to be adding some darker browns in over top for some shadow just to make it look um, a little more realistic, although this isn't really a realistic painting. Um... But yeah, so then let's skip to the pine cone being done. All right, so now that the pine cone's finished, I'm going to be taking some different green colors and creating some pine needles, which will kind of be in behind the pine cone. Um, but I'm going to be careful to leave some room because I am going to be painting some dried oranges in there as well. And you can't really paint over gouache. So I am just creating kind of the same shape as the pine cone, except um, not as curved out at the ends, just straight lines, different colors of green, layering them in every which way. Alright, so now that that's done, I am adding in some dried orange slices. I had one in front of me, so that really helped. This one is not so much a circle. Um, it's more of a cross between a circle and an oval, so um, the orange slice is kind of on a tilt. And yeah, um, it's not going to be such a vibrant orange color. It's going to have some brown in there because remember, these are dried oranges. And um, just adding some different shades in there to kind of add some definition to the orange slice. So just adding a few more orange slices and filling up the middle of the page with the pine needles and then I'm going to be adding another pine cone into the back there so you can leave your painting like this which is what I kind of wish that I had done or you can add some lettering like you're about to see in a second the way that I did and I just wrote the happiest of holidays painted that and then I added some twine to the orange slices and some little twigs with berries on them and then you're all finished. Mm -hmm. 